Hey up YouTube, it has been a while hasn't it? This is a blast from the past because I'm going to be uploading this obviously after my shoot because I stopped uploading because I wanted to keep my shoots prep under wraps but I thought I would document a bit of peak week because peak week is exciting, holy shit it's peak week, oh my god I can't believe we are one week out which is crazy. So I just want to kind of catch up a little bit as to what's been happening since I was away, you know, when I decided to take a step away from YouTube and where we're at right now on peak week. So over the last few weeks, I have been working bloody hard. Um, obviously in the last video, you'll know that I basically decided that I was not ready. I was not lean enough. I just was not comfortable or happy with the package that I was bringing. So we decided that we can get the results that we're wanting we could get the outcome but we just have to work really hard for it so we set a date which is the 8th of june obviously now i can tell you and that gave us i think an extra four or five weeks on top of what we would have had over those four weeks i have been working hard um i really don't want to get into the ins and outs because i don't want anyone to think that you need to go to that extreme or to copy what i've been doing but let's just say it's the lowest food i've ever been on it's the most like restrictive plan in terms of the nutrition because the last time i did a shoot prep my i don't think my calories were massively higher but i was on an if it fits your macros approach whereas this time it has been a meal plan um, it has got very, very low in terms of food. Cardio did get very, very, very high and I ran that for pretty much a month and it's been tough. I will not beat around the bush. There has been some highs, there have been some lows, but I've really enjoyed the challenge. I've really enjoyed pushing myself and I think and I hope um, it's paid off with us being one week out now. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. Um, so yeah, exciting times. So what is going on today? So today I will be training. Today, I think I am anyway. Today I'm training um, because with peak week, you can't just go and, well, you shouldn't really go into a shoot like training as normal because training has an inflammatory response. So you can go in looking a little bit watery and obviously you can't tense your muscles properly. So you typically go in, you know, the last few sessions are more like pump style sessions and Typically, it's just about bringing stress down and one way that you can bring stress down is by just reducing what you have been doing. So last week, I th was it last week? I think last week we had a slight increase in food um, of carbs and then yesterday I had a slight increase in carbs in my, well, a decent amount of carbs now in my pre and post workout meal and then I got an extra rice cake on my training day. Rest days, I got a slight bump up of the carbs that I did already have in two of my meals, but my filled food isn't still massively high, but it's increased so happy days um and my cardio has been halved as of yesterday as well which oh thank the lord because my cardio did get very high and it was more just how time consuming it was than anything else like it obviously it was hard but it was more just I was taking up so much of my day so i'm bloody grateful for that so that's what we've done. My body has redacted pretty well um i'm pretty much maintaining i have been dropping though on average every single week um so we are quite a bit of weight down from the last update um you know a decent amount so i'm hoping that like i said i'm hoping it's paid off so today's plan of action is like i said i don't i thought i think i'm training but i'm pretty confident that in my check-in yesterday the old boss vic said that she wanted to do a video update with me a video check-in we were going to do an in-person check-in today but there's a road closure um on my way down to see her and it would take me like three hours each way and i'm just not about Six hours driving, two hours in the gym. Yeah, that's my whole day gone, so F that. So she said we're going to do a video check-in, I think. If not, we're doing daily check-ins anyway. So what I'm just going to basically do this week is update you on my daily check-ins, update you on any peak week stuff that happens and what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, as soon as I get the update from her, I am going to update you. But now I'm going to go on a little walk up to Asda because I run out of food again. I run out of food all the time because I just eat the same stuff over and over again. So it runs out pretty damn fast. And I need to return my pretty little thing parcel because they've got one of those machines, you know, where you return it. Uh, because I ordered some normal people clothes because I realised that once this prep's over, I've got some normal people plans. Um, I have no normal people clothes. And it's weird when you just buy gym clothes all the time and you know the size there. I was like, I don't actually know what size I am in normal people clothes. And I bought them and they were way too big like some of them were like literally hanging off me I was like right okay i don't know what size i am so i need to refund those um gets me pennies back and probably buy some more shit with it and um, so that's my poa so um i will update you when i know anymore but for now over and out 
so it is not the same day we are now actually five days out um, the reason that I did not pick up the camera and vlog anything else on Wednesday was because we didn't actually have our in-person check-in on until yesterday morning. So I did an in-per- well, no, it wasn't an in-person check-in. It was a, a video Skype check-in. So she could actually see my physique, what it was looking like. And she was really happy, which made me really happy. So I was like, oh God, if she's not happy, it's kind of too late. Which is like, no, we've made some changes. She was very, very adamant that I've made positive improvements from my last shoot that we are looking on point for where we need to be. So happy days. The only change that we made on top of the changes that I discussed in the last clip was that she added some honey to my training day pre-workout, which I'm excited for because I get that today. And everything else is to stay the same. So I'm training legs today. Um, I then need to update her after my leg session, which I'm probably not gonna take you through our show, I don't think. Uh, I think I just want to crack on because I'm actually starting to enjoy training again now that I've got this extra food and less cardio. The last few sessions I have actually really enjoyed and I have not had that feeling in so long because I have literally been dragging through sessions and just getting it done. I, it's been horrible. It, I've actually, I fell out of love with training. It was strange, but my mojo is back. So I just want to actually enjoy because this is going to be my last one, I do believe, before the shoot. So I really want to enjoy it. So I need to update her afterwards. And then if she makes any changes or suggestions from that, I'll update you later on today. And if she doesn't, I will update you tomorrow when we will be four bloody days out. It is now Saturday, the, oh, what's the day? It's the 4th of June, 4th of June. So this makes us four days out? Yeah, four, 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 four. Four days out today. It's getting real. So, final push session today is on the cards. Um, update today, um, my weight actually dropped from yesterday. So I was down 0.6 of a pound from yesterday, which is not huge, but given the fact I had more food, shows that the reverse into the shoot is working, which is exciting. So I checked in this morning, she was very, very happy. So we've got an extra 15 grams of honey, again, in my post-workout, all of the honey. I feel like Winnie the Pooh, which is great because Winnie the Pooh is my favorite Disney character. Love it. I am Winnie the Pooh. I just hopefully look a little bit less of a pot belly because that's not, not ideal for fresh shoes, is it? Anyway, I'm waffling now. So I need to go make my coffee. I've just been up to Asda because Run out chicken again, honestly. I cannot wait until this is over so I'm not getting through as much chicken because God, that stuff's getting freaking expensive. Obviously, I'm still gonna eat it, but just not like three meals a day, probably like maybe one or two rather than three. Anyway, I'm gonna go make a coffee. Might take you through some more of today. If not, I'll see you at three days up. <laughs> It is now Sunday, the whatever the hell it is of uh, June, and we are three days out. Oh my god, it's like it's a bit weird. I've almost got this anticlimactic feeling right now. I'm gonna put you down because my arm's aching from yesterday's push session, which was actually very good. I think I filmed a few bits. What the f Honest to God, Lucy, you are the biggest scruff in the world. I'll sort it out afterwards. I'm talking to you guys now. You guys are my priority. I'll sort the whatever the hell is on my hat later. So yeah, three days out and it's kind of weird. Like I don't, I'm excited, of course I'm excited, but it's a really weird feeling. So I'm excited, but I'm also like kind of sad that perhaps it's, I'm in a really weird headspace. <laughs> um, I can't describe it at all, but I think as well, it's very strange because of how hard we've had to push these last 
few weeks and just spending every day just feeling so tired so draggy just i felt like shit just constantly for a month and you didn't realize how bad you felt until we started to reverse like i just feel very very normal right now you know what i mean like, I, don't, I feel very normal the the cardio is still a lot you know i'm still doing um i'm still on an hour a day until tomorrow so that was the only update i got um tomorrow we dropped to half an hour just fasted and then no cardio tuesday which is gonna be so weird <laughs> um but it's all very doable. My energy is very, very good. I'm not really that hungry at all. Um, on the reverse food, I'm actually very, very full after my pre and post workout meals because they're big. Um, so I think it, it's that feeling that because we're easing the foot off the gas and I'm not feeling like shit. And I look different. I look, I look better because I look fuller and obviously my weight is dropping. Um, it dropped yesterday, it stayed the same today. So I am coming in, but my look is different. So before I was very depleted. So I was very like scrawny looking. Um, and because I'm fuller, it's 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 a better look, but it's a, it's, it's a bit of a head fuck because you just look bigger in a, in a way. It's really hard to describe. So because of all that, my head is just a little bit like, what the hell? So yeah, weird headspace today, but we feel good. So today is my final training session of the prep, which is pull um this afternoon which i'm very looking forward to um but yeah it's a very strange feeling to think well that's it and then more than likely once i've done this pull session i'll probably have a few sessions where i can just do what i want because i'm away next weekend anyway so i probably will just be having fun at the gyms if i go and train down in the gyms when i'm in london and then i'll probably be on a new training split um going into off season so yeah all a bit weird all a bit weird like i'm not happy i'm not sad i'm just very very neutral <laughs> And it's, it's like, I should be excited, I should be, yeah, but it's what it is. So, that is today's update over and out. It's not a very exciting one, but I will probably catch you tomorrow for a two days out update. So, it's quarter to five in the morning. I've just done my uh, video check-in, so I just basically do my front, back and side photo. I'll do it as a video. For Vicky, I've done that every single day on peak week so far, so I'm going to send that this morning. And now I'm off to go and do my final cardio session of prep. I just, I don't know how I feel. I really don't know how I feel. It's kind of like, oh thank God, but at the same time it's kind of sad. And I'm saying I'll be still doing cardio in the reverse, but it's the final cardio session of prep. So let's go get this half an hour done. Oh my god. Oh, left my water at home, didn't I? So I got to the the gym and I was like, oh shit, I forgot my water. And it is only upstairs, so I could have gone and got it, but I tried to get it done, so I'm very, very thirsty right now. This never tasted so bloody good. If you want to drink more water, <laughs> dehydrate yourself to death and then you'll love it. No, I'm joking, don't do that. But yeah, cardio is now done. I'm waiting on Vicky's feedback. I can't see her changing anything from my normal rest day food today. Because um, it's decent enough anyway. Um, calories, well I don't know the calories, but there's, you know, there's a decent amount of food there to keep me going throughout the day. Um, can't see her asking me to do any more or less steps than usual. So yeah, I'll update you when I have updates. Okay, so it's a little bit later on. Uh, I just thought I'd do a quick update because I need to update you, but there's not really anything to update you on. She was very, very happy with the look this morning. So it is a rest day. Um, so I'm on a rest day food. No changes to food at all. Um, she just told me to make sure that I'm being mindful of my steps because since we increased my food, my step count has just naturally gone up because I've got more energy. Um, so she said to be doing 8K and recently I've been surpassing that. Not by loads, but 10, 11-ish. She said try and stay to 8 as a max today and I'm already on nearly 5,000. So I'll do my best to try and not go above that. But that's it. Um, the rest of the day's agenda is just work, work, work um i am getting a sports massage um just to sort just my tight areas out so that obviously i am mobile and just iron out knots as well 
um it just helps with the look as well when it comes to a shoot you don't want to be like tight and not being able to pose properly and stuff so got that at three o'clock got a consultation call later and that's it really it's not a massively busy or exciting day so i'm gonna leave you here because tomorrow is where stuff is exciting tomorrow is where the glow up happens tomorrow we are one day out and i'm sure there'll be some pretty well there's be updates tomorrow won't there so i'll love you and leave you and i'll see you tomorrow when we are one day out Good morning, it is at five o'clock in the morning and it, it's one day out. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is my literally morning face. I've just got up, I've just done my video check-in to send to Vicky. No cardio this morning and I feel a little bit lost, like <laughs> no cardio. So I planned on lying in and lo and behold, I've been awake since four, so I just laid in bed for a bit. So I'm gonna send my video check in now, see if there's any changes today, and then it's one day out day. It's travel day, it's glow up day, it's feet up chills. <sighs> yeah, I'm excited. I'm I felt really weird yesterday, I didn't feel excited, but today I've got that kind of Christmas Eve going on holiday excitement going on, so I'm really excited. So I'll see what the plan is today. I can't see her changing anything at all in terms of food for today or anything i wait with the exact same again today so yeah let's do this right i should probably go make myself look somewhat presentable um because i've got some client calls this morning um, and then see see what the boss says got some feedback from the boss and yeah um i guess she's very happy with this morning's photos which is definitely giving me a bit of a mojo boost so Woo, happy days. So I'm gonna look homeless today because no makeup. Um, pale now, but I will look tanned later when I go and get my tan. Um, so feedback wise, she wants me to have my training day food, which means all of the cream of rice and cereal today, which I'm not mad about. So I've made, I'm so OCD about stuff, like when I pack, like I have to write um, like a list of everything that I need. So I've wrote down what meals I need to go and prep. So. Um, I'm gonna go prep those now. I'm gonna go prep like the chicken and stuff now. Um, so it's done, dusted. And I just wanna I might start packing because I don't, um, I've just been sort of organizing my clients photo shoot, getting some things sorted for there. So been messaging those. And I don't actually have anything much on with work this morning. I've just got one client call at uh, eight, half eight. I can't remember what time it confirmed. And then that is it. And I'm not doing anything then until I leave at half past 12. So. Yeah, let's go do some meal preparations, which is, it's really not exciting. It's just chicken and basically just chicken, green beans, and then a few other bits of bobs as well. So let's go. I bought this to take with me today. Um, it's like a little, it's like a camping thing. So you can keep your food nice and cool because I knew there was gonna be chicken. And I'm not sure what she's gonna want me to have tomorrow morning. She's not got back to me yet, but I've asked. So if she wants me to have like chicken in the morning pre-shoot, which you might do, you know, chicken, rice cakes, sort of ting, you need to keep it cool. So I've got some ice packs in the freezer and yeah, I just thought it was quite cute and might come into handy at some point. Not that I will ever, ever, ever be going camping. You will never, ever see me camping, ever, <laughs> ever. But yeah, just thought it was pretty cool. And it makes a good drum. Easily amused. So my green beans prepped, my spinach. We've got a hell of a lot of chicken being cooked up. And yeah, that's pretty much all I need to do, meal prep wise. All of the chicken. All of it. Smashed it. How exciting does that food look for today though? Wow, mega. The best thing about being on training day food today, I get my cereal and blueberries. So I've got this ISO way, which is very nice. Blend it with ice, it goes really, really thick. Pour it on top. Oh, it's, it's such a good meal. I just absolutely love it. Heaven. Just been to pick up my parcels. If you can see me in this lighting, it's pretty, my little spotlight thing on. There we go, that's better, isn't it? 
Let's go pick up my pretty little thing on. So I ordered these to come for yesterday and for some reason they couldn't get delivered yesterday. So all they are is for today. So I'm glad that they came this morning to be fair. I would have managed, but I wanted um you know like a long sleeve baggy top to wear um for after my tan. So I just got two of those. So obviously I've got to wear loose clothing after the after the tan. Yeah, so I'm gonna wear one of these. I'm not sure which. This one looks a little bit tight fitting, actually. Um, that looks tiny, actually. Oversized my backside. Also got a little box, and I think this is from my friend Jess because she said she posted me something, and I recognise the handwriting. So I'm excited to see what is in here. Just got me a little card. I'll open that in a second. Oh my god, she's got me like a little... Oh, she's got me a gift box with... Oh... She's got me some... Pyjamas, some Disney pyjamas. I love pyjamas so much. And then she's been banging on about the Waitrose peanut butter. The squeezy peanut butter. And then she's got me my favourite chocolate in a little... Jess, you are the best. I love you so much. So, all the cringe. You made it to the vlog. Now you are officially... I love it a bit. Oh. It's just the thought, isn't it, that she's actually thought to send me it in time for... Emotional. Getting emotional. Um, but yeah, it's 10 o'clock now, so I've got a couple of... Not a couple of hours. About an hour before I leave my next meal. And then we'll be setting off to get Tangot. Meal yeah, two, cream of rice and honey. And glute pump session before the weekend. I'm just watching a bit of um, YouTube. Yeah, and then we're going to practice this routine. Well, I feel like a bodybuilder and a half. So I am dirty, um, tan colour. And I am about to eat my next meal before I hit the road, which is chicken and green beans. And... Um, some rice cakes like does this even get any more body build does this even get more body build um yeah so i'm going to eat these because it's about an hour drive don't know why well i normally check my fitbit don't that's why i'm looking there um and i'm so fucking dark <laughs> um yeah and then um so i can just chill at the hotel so this and then we hit the road just arrived at the hotel so staying at a premier inn you know what? I flipping love Premier. It's just gonna. God, I do look ridiculous. I uh, can't wait to walk into um, the reception looking like an umpa lumpa, quite literally. Um, yeah, quite literally. But it's fine because we're going to wash off this layer tonight, so it should be less stupid. But it's cool. Um, so, yeah, I've just pulled up now, so it is four o'clock just before four o'clock so i'm gonna go check in take all my bags in um and you know what i'm just gonna put my feet up and chill i've got my laptop so i can do a little bit of work because i've got a few client messages to get back to but i think i'm just gonna chill out because i just need to be relaxed i just need to be chilled um for digestion just to look my best for tomorrow really so yes we are here really easy drive which is nice so let's go get those feet up let's go looking up sleep oh, God. We move, we move. Okay, let's go. So we are now just chilling in the hotel, got the comfies on, watching some normal human TV. I don't normally watch normal people TV, I watch YouTube and Netflix, so I don't even know what's on. But we are just gonna put the feet up now. I've got one more meal left, which is chicken, a whole egg, and some spinach and I've actually got some dark chocolate for my other meal but I saved that so I can have that with a cup of tea just gonna get back to some client messages now and then I'm gonna log off because I'm actually really tired even though I've not really done much today in terms of steps no cardio no training I think it's just the whole situation just that the emotions are getting a bit real and the the overwhelm of we're here it's shoot day oh my god so it is um about quarter to six in the morning, so I got up, showered off my little tail layer tan, 
um, weighed in just because I wanted to see out of interest what my weight would do after just out of interest, pure, honestly, just purely for data. It's dropped 1.2 pounds. Bearing in mind I ate more food yesterday into the last, so I'm officially the lightest um, I've been this whole prep. And interestingly, I am still 2.5 pounds heavier than my last shoot, so I'm hoping some of that is gains and will show in today's shoot, which is exciting. So, the lady who is doing my hair and makeup is coming at about half past six, so I'm literally just going to pack everything now from last night so that it's all ready to go when she's done so we can just go to the venue. And yeah, I don't really know what to do about water or food, so I'm not touching any water or food yet until. I get the all clear from the boss what to do with it today, but yeah, I can't believe it's here. I cannot believe we are here. Alright, I should probably start packing and um, crack it on. So orders are in for breakfast, <laughs> don't dribble, but I've just realised I actually don't know how I'm going to prep this because I don't have a plate or anything. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's my meal one which I am going to have now at about 10 past 6. So I'll show you how I manage that. <laughs> So I'm using the Premier Inn menu as my plate. <laughs> so it's four rice cakes, honey, and some blueberries. And I'm using my Tupperware lid for my blueberries. This is prep life at its absolute finest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I something. I thought this was the one where my hair was. It looks the same, but I don't think it is. It's broad still. We've done it. Oh my God, we've done it. Um, <laughs> I look slightly more, I actually look like a female. I actually, what a catfish, what a catfish. I'm on fucking cloud nine. Oh, that was so good. I just want to collect my thoughts and sort of talk about the shoot um, on camera now. Um, yeah, I feel fucking amazing. I, I feel good. Yeah. Yeah, I've. I was so unhappy with how I looked prior to, you know, in my last video when I was like, I'm pushing my shoot back. And I, I just didn't feel, you know, I was, I was so unhappy with what I brought. And then today, I looked at myself and thought, fuck yeah, you've made improvements and you, you look good, Luce. So I'm, I'm really happy. I'm, I'm really happy. Um, it, it could not have gone any better. And I've seen a couple of the photos and yeah, I'm, I'm happy. But it's just weird now that it's done, it's like, ah, it's done. It's uh, like quarter to 11 and it, it's done. So I've now got the rest of my day and it's just another normal day. And you know, I felt, yeah. So yeah, I'm just a bit all over the place. So in a good way, like I just feel so buzzing and it's like, but I've got nowhere to put this energy. It's like, I feel like I should just drive to a gym now and go smash a session. And even though I've been doing like, I basically just trained because I've done loads of holes and stuff. but. Yeah, I'm just going to get back to everyone's messages now because I've got so many DMs. It's so lovely that people have been so um, supportive like of a photo shoot. Like So many people have been invested in my journey. and It really fucking means the world. So thank you. Thank you, everyone, for such kind comments and everything. Um, so, yeah, I think the plan of action now is I'm actually going to drive to like a supermarket or something and go and get a monster from a road trip home because I've not had sweetener in fucking days and I've really missed sweetener in my coffee and monster and i'm a bit peckish but i'm not hungry so i don't really want to eat but i'm gonna message my vicky now see what she says to do for food for the rest of the day because i'm obviously out tonight but yeah i'm on cloud fucking nine um we did it we did it and if i've got any photos from this now i'll insert them here and if not you'll have to go and you'll have to go look on instagram and have a look at them Oh, that's amazing. Post shoot epic cheat meal. <laughs> a can of rain. Living it fucking up. But it does taste bloody good. I've got a parcel from Prodo. And oh my god, so they're protein like cookies. And oh my god, how amazing do these look? So I think I'm going to have one of these as my next meal slash snacks i've not eaten since this morning's rice cakes uh, with a cup of tea uh yeah these look pretty freaking incredible vic's giving me the all clear to have one now so i'm gonna go for the on the biscoff one but i'm not sure which is the biscoff one so i'll have to work it out i'm gonna guess this one and i'll let you know what it's like 
Oh my god. Would you look at that? It's a Biscoff protein cookie pie. I'm gonna do a live taste test for you now. So, live taste test. Holy shit. That's amazing. Oh my god. Right, I'm gonna make a cup of tea and have that with a cup of tea, that is. That is to die for. Wow. So I failed at vlogging um, the rest of today, but I just kind of wanted to enjoy it. Um, so I just got back from Fazenda with my dad, um, which was basically, if you don't know what Fazenda is, they basically, it's like all you can eat. So it's quite expensive, but definitely worth it. Um, so you've got an unlimited like salad, but it's not a salad bar. They've got like cold meats and fish and just cheeses um and then you've got unlimited sides i didn't actually order any because i wanted to save room for the meats and then they just bring you meat around so it was like loads of different steaks and pork and it was, oh, it was incredible so i was really full at the end but i'm actually not that full now so i don't feel too bad and obviously it was just protein <laughs> so i've definitely hit my protein goal today um but i really enjoyed that um with my dad so i have actually had my reverse meal plan um come through for for now and i'm really happy with it so i'm going to be just going straight back on it tomorrow straight um to cardio tomorrow half an hour every day from now on so just back to routine tomorrow and that's what i want to do so yeah i think i'm going to leave this vlog here and then i'm going to do another vlog a bit of a sit down one talking through what's next for me because i've had a few questions as to what's next what's in the pipeline for myself so i'll fill you in on what 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 is now that the shoot is over and prep is done but thank you so much for watching thank you for everyone who has been a part of this journey it has been incredible for everyone's kind words and support it has been a roller coaster but i wouldn't change it for the world and i'm so proud of what we've achieved so over and out for this one and i'll see you when we're discussing the next steps and the next chapter